Welcome to Miss Sarah's Virtual Adapted Physical Education class for LEAP Week 9. Schedule. Hi everybody, welcome to Miss Sarah's Virtual Adapted Physical Education class for LEAP Week 9. Let's go over our schedule. So first you're gonna participate in a warm-up, fresh start warm-up stretching song. Next, you'll participate in a physical fitness activity. And the activity of the week this week is a bean bag toss. So you're gonna learn how to make your own bean bags at home. You're going to learn an activity and then there'll be a bean bag challenge. Finally, you have some choice time. So make sure that you participate in your choice time for 15 minutes. Do your cool down and then make sure you do your self-reflection, your tap out. Enjoy the lesson. Warm up. What's up? We're gonna wake our bodies and our brains up with a good stretch. You ready? Let's get that neck rolling. And reverse. Other side. Reverse again. The other way. And once more. Now back to the left. All right, let's get some arm circles. Arm circles to the front. Come on. And reverse. Reverse. Don't forget to breathe. Get a good stretch more, word. Forward. Reverse. Reverse. Get a good stretch, good stretch. All right, we're gonna cross our arms over our body. Feel the stretch in your back. Feel the stretch. Stretch it out to the right. Very good, now we're gonna go down to the center and stretch our legs. Over to the side. To the side. The other side. To the other side. Back to the center. Stretch it out. To the side. To the side. Come on. The other side. To the other side. Come and on. a few more times. Stretch it out. You got this. Come on. Stretch Once more. To the side. To the other side. To the middle. All right, we're gonna get a couple lunges to stretch the legs out here and warm up our leg muscles. We're doing lunges right now, come on. Stretch those legs out. Down. Down, come on. Stretch it out. Couple more, guys. Couple more lunges, you can do it. Come on, stretch it out. All right, a few arm circles get loose. We're gonna do some knee raises across our body. Here we go. Come on. Stretch it out, come on. Switch. Lift up the knee, lift it high. Let it meet your elbow. Switch. Come on. You got this. You were born to do this. Switch. That was a great stretch. Now you're ready to get back to class and do your thing. Fresh start, out. Want to go full Go Noodle? Then click here and create a free account. 
We've got hours and hours and hours and hours of indoor recess and fresh start fitness waiting for you. Physical fitness skill. Welcome back to the Adaptive PE channel. This is Derek Burnett. This is week five of distance learning. Today we are tackling some fitness. And I uh, hope you're ready to get your sweat on, your swole on, your pump on, adapt PE style. Now make sure you're ready because what you're gonna see is a picture icon of an activity or an exercise. And that's gonna transition into a video of me showing you how to do that exercise. And then we're gonna get right to it, okay? Eight minutes of activity today. You got this, I got this, we got this, adapt PE. Woo! All right, everybody, so you saw the icon. We're getting ready to run in place. We are going to do it for 15 seconds. Here we go. Exercise. Ooh. Pump those arms, pump those legs, kick those feet. Ooh. Make sure you're breathing in and out, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Rest. Next up is a bodyweight squat. A bodyweight squat is basically a sit to a stand. You want to keep your head up and your chest up. If you need assistance, you can get a chair and you can sit and stand from any orientation. For, so for the next 15, 20 seconds, we're going to be doing a squat. Your style, your choice. Exercise. One. Two. everybody. Now it's time for everybody's favorite. We got some jumping jacks. Remember, we make an X, we make an I. Okay, if you don't have limited, if you have limited range of motion with your legs, you can use your only your arms. If you don't have much arm motion with your arms, you can use only your legs. It's your choice. Jumping jacks, ready, go! Exercise. Jumping jacks, got Okay, so it's time for some calf raises. These are our calves. The way you get a calf exercise is just by lifting your heel off the ground and leaving your toes on the ground. You're gonna try and do it slow and controlled. So whenever the timer starts, we're gonna do as many calf raises as we can until we need to stop. balance this is a tough activity so try and really get those heels off the ground to a nice high point relax and come back down no need to rush just trying to get the best calf raises that you can Rest. Woo! success okay next up we have shoulder press I have weights you don't need weights you can milk jugs, you could use um, any kind of thing that provides any kind of resistance. Um, but again, this is how it should look when we do a shoulder press. So I look like a Y, I'm gonna take my weight to my hand and I'm gonna press. Come down to a Y and press. Okay, so here we go. Exercise. Whether you have weights or not, press, press, press. Move my weight straight what it looks like. Press. Press. Basically raising the roof. Pushing that roof way up into the air. Away from your head. Away from the ground. Getting strong in your shoulders. Okay, 
Okay, next up are push-ups. There's a lot of different ways we can do push-ups depending on your ability level. Um, if you need support and you're not very strong with your push-ups, you might want to find a wall and just fall into the wall and push yourself away. Keep those feet stationary, keep your back straight. If that's too easy for you, you can go down to the ground, get on your knees, walk your hands out to where your hips are sinking low. You're gonna fall down to the ground and you're gonna push up. If you can do that, you're gonna do a standard push up. Your choice. But get ready, because here we go. Exercise. Mr. T's gonna do modified push ups today. Remember, you don't have to do so many. You just want to be slow and controlled. If you have to do a modified push up, that's okay. If you need to use the ground, that's okay. If you need to use the wall, that's okay. Oh. Rest. Woo! One more, kids. We almost done today. All right, last but not least are bicep curls. Okay, so when you do a bicep curl, you're gonna leave your elbows tight to your body and you're just gonna take your, your wrists, your fists, and you're gonna bring them right to your shoulders. You're gonna squeeze that bicep as tight as you can, all right? And you're just gonna try and repeat that as many times as you can until our timer stops. That's your, that's your, that's your cue to, okay kids, time to stop exercising. So here we go, bicep curls. Exercise. Arms tucked to the side. Get a nice tight squeeze in your bicep. Bring those fists right to the shoulders. Getting locked and loaded for the weekend. Nice and strong. One last one in. Oh, that's what's up. Great job, everybody. Um, Thank you for doing week five of the Adaptive PE channel, Distance Learning Edition. That's a little fitness. I know we've got some other videos on there that are fitness related. There's a lot of links out there. Obviously, you know your kids uh, very, very well. So if they like to ride a bike, if they like to walk, if they like to go to the park, social distancing, obviously um, considered. Um, just make sure they're doing something. And, and if you need a lot of help or if you're looking for support, these videos are here. Um, let us know if we're not meeting your needs. You know, if you need something specific or more um, targeted towards your student, be sure to let us know. Um, hopefully you're finding some use of these. We love you guys. We miss you guys. Adaptive PE distance learning is okay. Adaptive PE in-person learning is wonderful. We miss you. We love you. And hopefully everything's gone okay. Uh, Good luck this week and see you next Monday. Activity of the week. What you will need. Ziploc bags, rice, beans, or wood chips, duct tape, four different color pieces of paper, and room to play. How to make your bean bags. How to perform an underhand toss. Underhand toss cues. Number one, face your body square to your target. Number two, step forward with the foot opposite your tossing arm. Number three, Use a pendulum arm motion with your tossing arm. Number four, extend or point your non-throwing arm towards the target. Lead the toss with your tossing arm. And number six, follow through with an upward motion of your tossing arm. channel today we're going to go over underhand tossing we're looking for a pendulum backswing a step in opposition and a toss so for our progressions we always want to start off with the lead foot in front would be the non dot or the non-preferred foot we're going to do the just so be kneeling arm swing and toss kneeling arm swing and toss 
And we move to standing, and this time we're going to do no step. It's just going to be make sure we get the swing, the swing, and then we progress to the step and toss. So some of the mistakes we commonly see with underhand tossing is be the, the palm is reversed, and they'll just go like this. without a, They'll step with the wrong foot. They'll actually have an odd release, so it rolls into the ground almost, or they'll toss it up over their head with another poor release and not judging the distance. So to advance underhand tossing skill, what we can do is we can toss to targets at varying distances. We can toss to a target and try to make it inside the target. Or, as like we used to play in my homeland of Canada, we play a little blongo when we're actually trying to wrap this around the target. So thank you for watching the Adapt to PE channel. Come back soon for more videos. Let's play a tossing game. Hi everybody. Now that we've learned how to make a beanbag and perform an underhand toss, it is time to learn our activity of the week, our game. So for this activity, I have four pieces of paper different colors and I have numbers on them. So my purple is a one. So I'm going to set that one on the floor. My red paper is a number two. I'm going to set that in a different place on the floor. My yellow paper is number three. I'm going to set that on the floor. And my blue is a number four. I'm going to set that on the floor. So, I'm first going to show you the game from a sitting position. So, I have my bean bags that I made. And I also have some bean bags that I have at home, some little cush balls. So, I'm going to practice that underhand throwing motion. And I'm going to try to hit one of my numbered pieces of paper with my bean bag. So, I'm first going to try for number one. Number one's over there. I'm going to swing my arm back and I'm going to release. I hit the number one. So for my next bean bag, I'm gonna to try to hit the number two. Two. And I'm gonna do one more, so I have three bean bags, and I'm going to try to hit the number three. So for my game today, I hit number one, number two, and number three. So which number is the biggest? Number three is the biggest. So my first, So now I'm going to try from a standing position. So I'm going to get my three bean bags again, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to toss and aim for my different numbers. So here we go. I'm going to use my pendulum arm, and I'm going to step and toss. I hit the number one. With my next bean bag, I'm going to use a pendulum motion, and I'm going to step and toss. I hit the number two. Oh, I'm going to try for the number one again. So, I'm going to step, and oops, I didn't make it. That's okay. So, I hit number one and number two. So, which one is the biggest? Number two is the bigger number. So, I had three points for my first try and two points from this try. So, let's count them. One, two, three four, five. So I earned five points for this game. So you can continue playing. You can get a piece of paper and keep score and add your points. You can get further away from your numbers or you can get close. Stay tuned for a bean bag challenge. Now participate in this bean bag tossing and catching challenge.
Choice time. Pause this video and participate in your favorite physical activity for 15 minutes. Cool down. Okay, you guys, so you just got done with a killer workout. Now we're gonna bring that heart rate down, we're gonna stretch those joints and those muscles out, and we're gonna go into a quick cool down. Okay, you guys, so let's start off on your mat, or wherever you are. From right here, bring those feet shoulder width apart. Just take a deep inhale in, raise those hands high overhead. Deeper breath in, keep going. Exhale, let it all out, fold all the way down. Hang loose here for a second, and then one more time. Big inhale in, reaching those hands straight up. Exhale, bring it all the way down. Last time. Big inhale in, take that hand, reach it over to one side. <sighs> Focusing in on that breath, really pulling across, feeling that stretch in your side body right here. <sighs> now take a deep inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, stretch over the other side. Once you've established that stretch, Really pull into that left arm. One more deep breath here. And then deep inhale. Exhale, let it come down. Bring your left arm across your body and go ahead, hug it in tight. Turn your head towards the left. And again, really focus in on that breath. Feel every stretch. Go deeper and deeper with every exhale. Two more deep breaths. One more. Now bring that left arm up and back. Tilt it over to the other side. Feel a nice stretch in the tricep as well as that left side body. Let that gaze fall to wherever it falls to. You don't need to look up at me on the TV screen. Once you get into that stretch, just do what feels good for your body. One more inhale. Exhale it out, shake everything out. This time, go ahead and bring that right arm across your body and then turn your head to look towards the right. Same thing, with every exhale, pull a little deeper into that stretch. Keep feeling this in your shoulder as well as your neck. Exhale it out. You know what? Bring that arm up and back. Tilt it over. Feeling that stretch in that right side body as well as that right tricep. And again, you don't have to look up at the screen. Just let that gaze fall to wherever it's going to fall to. One more deep breath. Shake everything out. Now, from right here, we're gonna step up with our left leg. Make sure you find some balance. If you have something to grab onto, perfect. If not, don't worry about it. So from right here, pull that left foot back. Now, while you're pulling that left foot back, squeeze that left butt cheek and slightly drive those hips forward, all right? You're gonna feel a deeper stretch in your quad as well as your hip flexor. Two more deep breaths here. Shake it out. Now, keep that left foot back. Plant that heel down. Now what I want you to do, reach those arms up, and again, squeeze that left butt cheek as tight as you can. Take a slight lean back, and feel that deep stretch in the hip flexor of that left leg. Let that go, bring that left leg forward. Take a slight dip 
in that right knee. Go ahead and reach for that left toe. Drop your head, relax your neck. If you feel like you want to do this sitting down or on the ground, feel free to do this on the ground or sitting down. But just make sure you feel that good, nice, deep stretch in that hamstring. One more deep breath here. Other side. Go ahead, take that right leg in your right hand. Pull back. And again, squeeze that right butt cheek. Drive those hips forward. And again, you'll feel that stretch of the hip flexor and the quad. Deep inhale. Long exhale out. Two more deep breaths here. One more time. Now, remember, plant that foot back. Make sure that heel is flat. Squeeze that right butt cheek. Reach those hands up and take that slight lean back. Feel a nice stretch in the hip flexor of that back leg. Think about reaching your chest up towards the sky. The higher you can reach that chest up, the more you'll feel that stretch. One more deep breath here. Exhale. Good. Bring that leg forward. Bend that back leg. Take a bend towards that right foot. And again, remember, sitting down, standing up, on the bench, on the chair, on the floor, whatever you need to do. Just make sure you feel that stretch in that hamstring. Two more deep breaths here. Now from right here, clasp those hands behind your back. Drop those arms up. Feel those shoulders open up. Feel that chest open up. And from right here, dive it forward. Release your neck. Allow your head just to fall. Continue to reach those hands forward. Slowly bring those hands to the small of your back. Then let those hands come down on the floor. Drop your head, relax your neck. Release any tension you're holding onto in your low back, mid back, now upper back. Release any tension you're holding on to in your neck, your shoulders. Take your opposite hand to your opposite elbow and let gravity take you down a little bit lower. And then from right here, take a giant inhale, breathing in as deep as you can, reaching those fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale and give yourself a hand. Amazing job. You guys just crushed the workout. You cooled it down. I'll see you guys next time. Tap out. Self-reflection is so important. How did I do today in adapted physical education? In physical education, I did... Awesome job today. See you next time.